Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, Managing Parts to the Grave, The Basics. In this video, we're going to discuss using the Special Order Parts Archive to document and run reports on part disposition. This will be the simple method. The more advanced method, using daughter bands, will be discussed in another video. As previously discussed, the bin loc field in the Archive Special Order Parts is used to indicate the disposition of the part. When a part is checked in, you'll typically want to indicate 12R or something similar so that your staff knows where the part is located. When you use the Parts Pick Management System to check parts out to your technician, the bin loc reference will change to the technician's initials. During the post-visit report process, the tech will indicate if he used the parts or not. We'll demonstrate this on our Richards job. In the post-visit report, any part that was specifically ordered for this job or specially tagged for it will show up here on the right. The technician must indicate usage or non-usage in order to submit his post-visit report. We're going to check to indicate that he used the defrost timer. Then we're going to right-click on the deli drawer and indicate that the part was defective. And then we're going to right-click on the crisper drawer and indicate that the technician forgot to bring it with him. With the post-visit report complete, we'll click OK and Save. We'll now go to Control F8, our archive special order parts. If we choose to run the Manage to Grade reports, we can now see the varying dispositions. First, we'll choose Usage is Pending. Items that are in usage as pending status have a bin location indicating that the part is in the technician's possession based on his initials. There is no additional information here, just the technician's initials. Parts that are in not used and expected back status are those that have either the technician's initials or simply an explanation of why the part was not there. For example, not the part intended, the part was defective. Under the status back from tech, further work is pending, we'll find items that are in the office's possession, indicated by a bin location of OF, and has a note indicating pre-diagnosis was amiss or some similar explanation. Items that are in return authorization requested status will have RA requested chosen from the drop down list in the bin location. Items that are in awaiting credit status are those that have a bin location that says return to vendor. Items that are in pending slash hope to return status will have hope to return in the bin location field. Items in this status are specifically those that you are hoping to get a credit for, but perhaps your parts distributor has a limit to the number of parts you can return in a month. If you need this same part on a different job while this part is still in hope to return status, Service Desk will warn you of this, so hopefully you can just reuse this part rather than ordering another one. The last three statuses, credit received, move to stock, and write off, would be used to indicate the final disposition of the part. Please keep in mind, these statuses only reflect the documentation of what was done. You will need, for example, to actually enter an item into F10 if you've marked it move to stock. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Managing Parts to the Grave, The Basics.